guys, this is Jason, and I am going to cover FTP deployment with Git. So those of you familiar with Git deployment are familiar with doing uh, you know, a Git push to a remote branch and then having that take effect on a live server. Well, if the remote server doesn't provide SSH access, you're reduced to using something like rsync. Uh, or something like Dandelion, which is what I'm going to cover. And Dandelion, which you can get from here, is a Ruby gem. And once you're in the git root, all you do is type git, sorry, you type Dandelion deploy. And what that will do is it will connect and do its thing and push it up. Now, if you haven't uh, brought your local branch into parity with the remote branch, you'll get a warning that says, I'm not going to do this. You could potentially modify stuff on the live server. And so you'll either want to bring your uh, local branch and your remote branch into parity, or simply append the dash F flag as it states, at which point it will upload all of the changes, if there are any, uh, and take care of it for you. And so the way that you do this is you're going to make sure you're running a current Ruby version. Um, I am using 193 via RVM. If you don't know about RVM, you can go and install it. But basically, we're running Ruby 9193. To install it, you run gem install dandelion. That's pretty much it. This will make it available to, every, to your user. Um, it's kind of a standalone program. And what you're going to do is create a text file inside of your um, root, your uh, repo root, and it's going to be called dandelion.yaml, and inside of that file, which I'm not going to show you that one because it's got sensitive information in it, but you're going to put that text, and you're going to specify FTP or SFTP, the host you're connecting to, username and password, all that normal stuff. This is relative to the web root um, with no trailing slash, and you're going to usually exclude your .gitignore file, for those of you that don't know. Uh, you'll have to figure that one out. And then your uh, YAML file that has the configuration stuff in it. And what this is saying is what file do you want to save the particular, um, the current revision. And what this is, is this is a text file which will be placed onto the server called dot revision. And in it will be uh, storing the commit ID of your particular commits. And that will be um, that will be that. So that is how you can use Dandelion to deploy uh, using Git or deploy projects to a server uh, in very similar way to Git deployment when only FTP is available.